Welcome back, folks. Uh, I am very sorry for taking very long, and I'm just here for giving you some info I may have heard. But I'm not so sure if everything is true, but I hope it will be at least something to keep Andrew Tate outside from the citizen. And I hope he will be punished in the prison as he is in. Some people was even uh, scamming by telling that he have coming out from the prison. And I was sure afraid that he would be because of the, how should I say, the judge there in the system of the government of Romania, as I still not trust. But I hope they have hit with sense that they will keep Andrew Tate outside of this bullshit he have done. And I hope that we'll, that they will keep their promise to keep him in the prison. In the same time, I hope that Romania will change the government size since this Andrew Tate to have money and can brag about to come out no matter what. I also have some message to all the Muslims out there. Hold on. Don't follow Andrew Tate no matter what. If you want to do something good, then skip Andrew Tate. Follow somebody else who actually are more actualizing. Someone who actually you can idolize and keep worshipping as much as you want. But this Andrew Tate fella is not exactly a good guy. To begin with, he have done many kind of crime, no matter what. But as we used to say, rich people always escaping prison. In same time, they can brag about everything they can do until death. Meaning, only God will maybe punish them, which we don't know exactly if God will. Because we humans are annoying, that's the thing. But I hope at least God will have the sense to punish this man for doing his crime. But I am more furious that many of you Muslims think that he is innocent. Wrong. He is not. So please, I beg you. And for you, Daniel Hakuchi, I mean, Daniel Hakuchichachu or whatever you call yourself, Please, I'm telling you, this Andrew Tate are guilty, no matter what. May Allah may something say, I don't know what Allah in this case would say, but I have read at least the Quran as well. But, since I know there is a different verse depending on which verse you follow, I understand. I want to actually consider saying something when it comes to the violent. I keep it for myself. I don't want to destroy any Muslims at all. All I want to do is let every Muslim to understand between logic and reason and whatever this Tate have done. Shoot someone else in this case as you can idolize and see as a hero in this case. So that's enough. Andrew Tate should never be forgiven. So I'm begging you all. And Ali Dawa, I know that you might say that I should reconsidering, but no, I don't. I don't reconsidering when it comes to Andrew Tate. I stand on my goddamn feet, as I said before, no matter what. By the way, when he was a Christian, he was the same. Same guy who actually did the same thing. By punishing women for nothing and ridicule all women, abusing women and all of it. How is it just? It's not just at all. Not at all, Ali Dawa. You must have your concern as well. So you must also see something for yourself too. So please, I'm begging you. Reconsidering whatever this guy have done.
And finally to you, Muhammad Hijab. I know for your reputation, because you see it as normal concern, meaning whatever Tate do is good. I know that it stands in your Quran in that verse you might read. But I don't think that's ever necessary at all. Sometimes we have to strap away the violent sense and come with the peaceful sense. Although I can't say anything about Muhammad, I ain't. Whether that prophet of yours have done in the history, I can't say anything. I can't. I can respect Allah since he is a God, although I can't sympathize over the law. When I would rather say, may Allah punish my, me for saying it myself. But I'd rather stand for logic and reason and justice, not the opposite sides. So I'm telling you, Muhammad Hijab, Reconsidering yourself too, because you know exactly what the difference anyway. I mean, even Prophet Muhammad's uncle once said that we all have to watch behind ourselves and never considering any kind of violence. Would you actually also harass his uncle? You can do it if you want. But it's yourself who are going to be confront of this man who actually are dead. But I want you to also be considering when it comes to this man. And yeah, GOP, for you who belong to the government in the United States of America, no matter what, you should also be considering between right and wrong. Even though Andrew Tate may have converted himself to Islam, which maybe doesn't concern you. But before that, you know him as a Christian. Well, here's the thing I would say. No matter what, please don't see him as an innocent person for being a man. No. Try to understand in this case that this man have commit crime and should never put his foot outside at all. How in the world can you accept women being slave for a system and yet you're saying that this guy is actually innocent? Are you so stupid? I mean, even for any Republicans in the past could see difference between crime and logic and reason. Why not you in this case? Are you so stupid that you just follow whatever comes out and just saying, oh no, it wasn't crime, it's just a man. You just provoke red pill to destroy the world as well. So I'm telling you, stop following this damn daddy fucker who have no idea what exactly it is. It's time to change. We should be equal, no matter what you say. It doesn't matter what the script is saying. Change your mind, for God's sake. Oh, yes. All right, that's enough. Now I'm going to... Uh, now I just have in my mind about Andrew Tate. Even if he is in the prison, I don't know, I'm not so sure if he will ever come out. But that's not the thing. I'm still worried about that he may have a plan B. But I hope he will not. No matter what the circumstances is, he should never come out. He should Think about what exactly I've done. Here's the thing. If the government does so stupid to think that they undertake have done all those illegal things, as any criminal would know exactly between right and wrong, then the government is the stupid one 
why the prisoners are more smarter than them. They were stupid when they were outside and do their crimes. But at least for those who can consider between right and wrong and hurt some fellow person. I don't know if I may say this. Abuse. That's really high in my case. Because you're hurting another fellow who actually living under your roof and live with the nightmare all the time. I mean, who doesn't want to get out of there? And for all of this, people living with PCT, I don't know how to call it. Maybe PST, I don't know. For say, for we say for an example. PSD, I think so. I am not so sure. Well, you maybe stay with somebody. It doesn't matter. Maybe it's a partner. Maybe it's your parent or whoever. It is. When that part could also be something. I mean, it doesn't matter where you're living. But being abused all the time and you're in that kind of space. You have no free space at all. You're just in that box you can't get out from. And living up to that part day in, day out. I mean, again, we're talking about abuse. It doesn't matter what kind of abuse. No matter if this is mental abuse or physical abuse, no matter what. Either you have a coconut of man or woman who maybe abuse anyone, or maybe a parent who have no idea that even if you're raising your child, you should never use violence or any kind of words who maybe not fit in. Perhaps sometimes it's happening in some degrees. Yes. Depending what the situation is. But I know when it comes to narcissism, which is really different, no matter what the circumstances is. And that should never come out, no matter what. Alright, that's enough. Before I ever mention about what I could actually give a suggestion to all of you women, what could be great for all of you, if you would like to at least make sure that you can survive without to be fooled by a stranger. I know that many of you are really, uh, how should I say, really smart when it comes to stranger because none of you trust anyone. But here's the thing for those who doesn't know that. Either we are all looking for a job and want to provide for ourselves. We struggle economic with everything comes around no matter what. And yeah, sometimes we go for it because we have no choice or perhaps we just test the opportunity. Or maybe you maybe have a financial life, but you just want to sh find a love or something. You may be finding someone. At least all of you have feelings. That's something. But we didn't expect that kind of man fooling another person and following. But I'm afraid that he's not the only one anymore. There's a lot of people who have done that even before his time. As much they have done that, as much they do it today after him. Even when it comes to his, I don't know what to call it. I would call it dark casket or casket something. I don't know what to call it, but it is chaos, if I may say it. And you should never take the advice from anyone that you can find love outside before you know exactly who he is in the face. Because many often lying, of course.
But if before I actually mention it, I want to also mention one thing. <sighs> Recently, as I know, I have played a lot of videos around. His ads are still running, and I'm still wondering how and why does it do it. I mean, watch this one, for example. This is about his advice about earning some billion cash as he started to bragging about and lying a lot of and still talking about that he will still make it no matter if he's sitting in the prison again never follow anything what he's saying no matter if you're a man or woman please stay out whatever this lawyer is saying he's not some great talker at all and I still concerned over that YouTube haven't considering that the cr criminal over there who actually have put all those women for in danger because of him, yet he running this kind of scam. I mean, again, considering over whatever you think of, whatever this man actually doing, you should never Accept anything when it comes to Andrew Tate. Stay away from everything he do. No matter what. No matter if you are a guy, girl, or whoever you are inside. Don't trust Andrew Tate's ads. As I said, uh, no matter what Andrew Tate doing, please avoid every kind of shit. He actually giving to you. What I mean is, either he do more ads without we knowing anything, or maybe it is his old ads who keep running, which I'm still confused over why nothing had been turned off. Because he should never be active while he is still spending in his prison unless it was never a crime. But it is a crime as he have done. By the way, people shouldn't buy his product and all this fraud thing. And again, we don't know exactly what it is. Everybody buying it let literally seen anything copy everything he did in his basement what, uh, whatsoever, became a pimp and all of this bullshit, buying Bukhari and all of these things, he didn't earn it himself. His employee was the one who actually earned it for him. By the way, we were never um, employ employees. We were actually slaves who work under him. That was the thing. We didn't earn anything. We earned so less when he took the big cake. However, that's exactly what it is. Crime. Abusive crime as he have commit. Yet people buying whatever he's saying. And what happening if that would be the case that people did same thing as Andrew Tate did, kidnap a lot of people and literally putting everybody in danger? Nor will I ever think that the government will ever care unless it is somebody important or maybe somebody who are more, I don't know, have a static. Or something. What I'm saying is, even if you report it to the police, nor will any of the, um, I don't know, average people, whether you are poor or middle class, have anything immediately done. But when it comes to elites, it's more like snapping the finger, we work on it. And later they may we find the perpetrator. That's the worst thing. 
So yeah, I'm more concerned about what exactly going to happen if Andrew Tate had this kind of chance, which is still bothering me today. But the only thing I want to focus today is if that would happen. Give me a moment. Let us say you maybe get the letter, a letter, no matter what, it doesn't matter, maybe an email or maybe some message, it doesn't matter if this is on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, or any kind of message, maybe on Gmail, Hotmail, or whatever email you get, or maybe a letter. As I said early, maybe he sent letter, or maybe some SMS whatsoever. It doesn't matter. Or maybe you're finding some interesting in the internet, like looking after love or something. And perhaps that person maybe find you and saying, "Hey, baby, do you want to come with me?" Or maybe. Instead of just being some disgusting man who may be giving you that kind of, I don't know, uh, flirting uh, message as you maybe can't stand out. Perhaps you maybe want a nicer message like, Hi there, my name is, mm -hmm. uh, it's nice to see you. I see a beautiful uh, picture of you and I wish you and I could be together. Can we date this in this case and all of these things? Again, that kind of thing, you need to be more careful no matter what. I mean, okay. You should maybe, you maybe doesn't have to worry. But here's the thing. What I could think of is, if you were a strong woman who could handle by claiming all those men, then maybe I don't have to worry about that. But for you maybe who doesn't do it, then I'm sorry. That's the only serious thing you have to think, figure out. Is it worth to trust the person or should you go somewhere that you maybe can ask around? Maybe in a bar or something, I don't know. Perhaps it's a bad idea since the bar have always been a target that you maybe meet some, I don't know, a pervert perhaps. So I don't know. Perhaps working place or maybe some, I don't know, some coffee, tea. I don't know exactly what to call it anymore. Uh, what I want to tell you is that you decide whatever you believe on, but, oh, hold on. <sighs> Any kind of thing you can suspect, you maybe can talk with your mother, who maybe can give you suggestion, but that's the thing. The difference between your mother's time and your time is that your mother didn't use much internet in her past, or you maybe use internet several times. That means with new technique comes with new ideas. That means it could be more dangerous today, more than what it was in your mother's time. So the question is still, can I trust the, the person itself? Unless you have to make a new law to make sure that every, every guy has to be checked what is his criminal logic what the, whatsoever. Try to 
put put yourself some kind of tracker or whatsoever so everybody can see where where you are if anything would happening to you so that time you can maybe see if he is a great guy or is he a criminal who knows but that depends what kind of criminal uh, criminal he is what crime he have committed whatsoever perhaps he's just a crook then fine no problem you decide if you want to stay with him or not but if he is some kind of i don't know a gangster or some kind of pimp or whatsoever then you have to leave never accept anything from him find the nearest place you can ask around no matter which guy it is or which girl on other hands or maybe a strong woman you can find or maybe a strong man or strong i don't know non binary person you can find or maybe intergender person i don't know everything <sighs> anyway that's up to you you make your own decision however all i can say is do not trust and take in any bit no matter what he's saying He's just some kind of smart ass who just saying a lot of things without to know exactly what he's saying. He just believe everything he heard. I mean again, who are we talking about? It is same with everything. It doesn't matter what I say. And the tape on the hands. I don't know. Every time he laying out his ad, everybody find it. And that's the crazy narrative to even trust about if his method going to keep confusing people. Is it right or is it wrong? We don't know exactly what it is in there. Perhaps those who have been manipulated by him who literally can't tell the history about what it is inside of it we should never accept everything if he have commit this kind of crime and again for you guys who maybe doesn't know exactly what is different between treating another person with kindness versus treating another gender with kindness I mean, it doesn't matter the point is, so long you treat the person with the kindness, then anything is fine. But hurting another crewmate, I mean, gender, that's bizarre. I mean, think again. If you hurt another man, I don't know if you're really going to feel sorry or not. But is it worth to hurt another man unless he have done you something? That's up to you to decide. Perhaps we could feel some degrees of guilt depending what we do. I don't know about Andrew Tate. If he admit his wrongdoing but still are proud to do it anyway. Or does he feel sorry for whatever he have done? All I can know is that he was once a victim by bullying when he was younger. But that was, but that was his nerdy size when he was younger. Because it doesn't matter for some person to hurt another person. That's not good. No matter what. That's something what he that's something we sh he should know even if he have been bullied by being simply rejected by some person who didn't accept him doesn't necessarily mean that he need to be a meanie i mean it's enough to maybe go against the person or maybe rejected him but taking everybody 
just because we are women, that won't, that will not solve anything. I mean, you maybe remember his past about him being rejected once. I mean, sure, it hurts, but that's something we all can accept. But if that was an insult, depending what the person might have said, then that person itself should be hated alone, not all the genders together. By the way, why follow material women in this case? Skip material women if they can't accept you. Go after other women who maybe doesn't are materialism because they are more humble and sweeter. They have at least heart more than what material women have. So please, all I'm saying is don't turn just like Andrew Tate did. Don't go into the, the red pill community no matter what. Stay away from it, no matter what the, p- p- the point is. Always have your mind and thought in it. So yeah, that's the basic thing I want to tell all you men. However, I was, will also apologize to all women, since I know that I am a wrong gender to give you advice, because I'm not a woman. If you feel in soft love, that's so yeah, I will apologize. But I was thinking it was really important to give you this message because in this case, I would maybe think what a guy would think. Because in today, in today media, everything is possible. So no matter if that person might seem so goddamn glamorous or attractive whatsoever you may be fine on him beware there could be an idiot out there who could ruin your life as well if you want to find a sweet humble guy I don't know what to suggest perhaps in a supermarket or something I don't know maybe he is less attractive but still have a heart I don't know could be that But it's up to you. No matter what kind of woman you are, it doesn't matter. The point is you make your own choice. No one should force you. You decide what you want. And again, as I said, I apologize. You can give me a comment about that. And yeah, that's all I can say. So if I am sounding annoying, but... That's the thing. I know that some women maybe take it really really hard about that. So yeah, I'm sorry for that. But I hope you can forgive me. Anyway, that's all I can say today. I said that I wanted to talk about this. Mm. I said that I wanted to talk about Kanye West. But I guess I will do it in another video, but I'm not done with Tate either. That was only something I came up. And yeah, since you know already about the problem about my auntie and all of this thing. She's still on the custody in the uh, migration. Swedish Migration Agency. Uh, Agen, agency. And since she won't be out there until they have uh, accept her as a citizen, there is nothing I can do. And yeah, I'm sorry if I am delayed, but I hope I will be on back on action. Back in action. Thank you. Have a nice day. And I wish you good luck with everything. And please stay away from Andrew Tate. He's a toxic person for now. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day. Good night.